I'm Christopher Whitlatch. Today on Into Pittsburgh, I catch up with William Holman. Bill, welcome into Pittsburgh. Thank you so much, Chris. I am thrilled to be here. And I, I have to give like a, a little disclaimer here. Bill and I know each other really, really well. But the reason why I asked Bill to come on into Pittsburgh uh, was particularly because he enjoys Pittsburgh. And I wanted to sh have him share some of those stories of, of why Pittsburgh is so great. But first, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, the shortest answer uh, is probably that I'm an adventurer. Um, Whenever people ask what I do, I say, well, that's the short answer. If I want to get a little bit longer, I say that I am tech and talent for film, theater, and simulation. So I, um, I have a theater background uh, and also a bit of a medical background. Um, and so I work in the theater world doing tech, and I also do talent work. Um, I work in the film world in both aspects as well. I'm a member of the local 489 union here. Uh, and I work in uh, medical simulation, training healthcare professionals that the easiest way to do their job is also the most compassionate way. Um, tack on a little bit of uh, drone piloting and uh, working for the professional ultimate frisbee team is kind of the sideline entertainer, uh, stand up paddle boarding. This city is full of opportunity and potential, Chris. So you just named off a couple already that, that you've, you've experienced in. What, what, what is it you like about Pittsburgh the most? The accessibility of the people. Um, people here are approachable. They're, um, they're looking, I think, a lot of times for the same sort of adventure, even in small doses. You get very human interaction here. People hold doors for each other. They say hello to each other on the street. Um, or maybe that's just me and they say hello back. <laughs> I don't know if other people do it, but I certainly do it. And I, I find that I get a really good response. Um, and in some ways, we're kind of stuck in a little bit of an old fashioned sense. And I think we're transitioning that into um, a very vibrant future. What would that vibrant future look like for you? Uh, for me, uh, I'm, I'm very passionate about green space and the outdoors. So for me, I, 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 I think more access to our water, more access to our rivers. Um, there is a lot of biking that has been going more and more. I know there is um, a lot of people are conflicted about the bike lanes, and I think it's something that over the test of time, I hope will prove to be a very good decision. Um, I'm very hopeful that as we move forward, we'll clean up um, the combined sewage overflow system. As I mentioned, um, instructing stand-up paddle boarding for a few years, and the biggest comment I would get from people is like, oh, I'm not going in those rivers. And the rivers really are, we've had wonderful mayfly hatches um, on the rivers, great sign of water quality. Um, we have a brand new duck that moved into Pittsburgh. So a brand new, a brand new duck species county. of duck. A, a new species of duck. Don't ask me which species. I, <laughs> I, I have forgotten, I but it's a, a brand new species of duck that likes to nest in bridges. Really? We have a lot of those. Yes. Uh, apparently. And, um, and, and so we have a new duck species in the, in the water. So, so I, I agree with you. Our water quality is definitely on the upswing. It's on the upswing, and I know... Except when it rains hard. Yes. Well, that's what I was going to say. With the combined sewage overflow, um, I mean, having been out on the rivers and when, after heavy rains, we avoided the rivers um, because it, it is, it's an older system, it's one of the oldest in the nations, um, and I think it's one of our greatest assets. We're starting to realize that rivers aren't good just for industrial parks or for putting a restaurant along, but for actually accessing, getting out on the water, using the water, uh, and it, it's such a great resource to enjoy. So uh, we. We, we kind of got along the path here of, uh, of what needs to be improved. 
as an adventurer that's been in, been out there, both you know out there on the outside enjoying all the uh, amenities that we have, but also just uh, meeting and dealing with a lot of people. I think that you have in Pittsburgh. Where are we falling short? Where could we where could we improve? What would what could we make better? How can we get more people to get outside to to open more doors to uh, to uh, be pleasant to each other to